I can't stand it any more than you can. That's why I'm going to Fairhaven for a while. That's why I decided to leave, too. I can't stay here alone with her. I suppose you're right, Margaret. Don't miss your train, Miss Emma. I still have half an hour, and besides, there's another one soon after. I know you don't miss them both. Good day. Is Miss Lizzie Borden in? Miss Borden is out. Hello? Miss Borden? No, you mustn't come in. We don't see anyone. Of course I'll come in. I'm leaving, Miss Emma. Margaret, don't go now. So this is the scene of the crime. And this is the picture that got so much attention at the trial. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised you haven't replaced it. It must bring back very many unpleasant memories. I see you've had it cleaned. You are Miss Lizzie Borden, I presume. I must say, you're not exactly what I expected. I'm not Miss Lizzie. I'm Emma. Oh, the sister. Hmm. Well, let's see. It's been a year since your mother and my father... My stepmother were... and my father. Well, it's the same thing. I missed your sister's trial. She's quite an old girl, they tell me. My sister was acquitted. And we never talk about it. Well, of course you don't, but the public's interested, you know. Now, I represent the Sacramento record. You're one of those reporters? That's right. And I'm here to collect a few impressions for my newspaper. <laughs> Second Street Revisited, <laughs> all that sort of thing, you know. Oh, dear, Lizzie hates reporters. She won't talk to you for a moment. Say, isn't this a gold nugget? Yes. Uncle Morse brought it back from the gold fields. Well, now, isn't that a coincidence? I'm from those same gold fields myself. Uh, is your Uncle Morse um, an old codger, around 60-ish, maybe? With a drooping mustache and that a... sounds like him. Do you know Uncle Morse? Knew him well in Sacramento. Put her there, Miss Emma. How do you do, Miss... Nell Cutts. Just call me Nell. You know, an interview with Miss Lizzie Borden 12 months after might be real interesting. Oh, dear Lizzie, we'll never see you. She hates reporters. You must excuse me now. Tell me, Miss Emma. Is it true that on the morning of the murders, breakfast consisted of bananas, cookies, and cold mutton soup? I don't know. I wasn't here. I was in Fayette. Oh. Cold mutton soup in August. No wonder somebody committed murder. Miss Emma, now tell me, how does it feel to take three meals a day with a woman who was a murder... <laughs> who was tried for murder? I have to get away. That's why I'm going to Fairhaven for a while. Oh, dear, I mustn't miss the 337. You won't miss it. I, uh, I suppose that living with Miss Lizzie must be very trying on the nerves. She can hear everything we say. Her room is right up there. Yes, but she wasn't in her room on the morning the murders were committed, was she? She was in the barn eating pears, so she said. Yes, she was. She was out there. Well, now, let me get this clear in my mind. Mrs. Borden was found upstairs, wasn't she? That's right. And there was no one in the house at the time excepting the servant. Where did she go? I'd like to get a statement from her, too. Oh, it wasn't, Margaret. We had another girl then. But she left us when it happened. They, they all leave us. Well, it doesn't matter. Now, the servant hears your father at the front door. She goes to let him in. But the door is triple locked. Nobody could have gotten in that way. The servant's unlocking the door, and meanwhile, upstairs, the murderer is gloating over the first victim. The servant goes out to market. Your father enters. He locks the door behind her and relaxes on the sofa, not knowing that his wife is lying dead upstairs. Don't. The murderer comes down the stairs, sees him there alone, asleep. She creeps up on the old man from behind with the ax and brings it down. No! It was Miss Lizzie, wasn't it? Wasn't it? No, no, it couldn't have been. She was out in the barn. Yes, just standing there quietly, eating pears. Now, how could anyone from the outside have done it? That door was locked, but she could see the side door. How could they escape right under Miss Lizzie's eyes if Miss Lizzie was telling the truth? Was she, Miss Emma? I told you, I don't know. I wasn't here. I was in Fairhaven. Fairhaven. My train, you must excuse me now. What about the kitten, Miss Emma? Oh, dear. The kitten was found dead in the cellar. It had been killed with an axe, too. The kitten was the hardest. I 
cried for a week. And brought my neuralgia back again. But Lizzie didn't cry. And it was her kitten. Miss Emmy, you'll have to forgive me. But I have to ask this question. Is there a history of insanity in your family? Certainly not. That was the first thing they started asking about. Especially about Uncle Morse. Oh, yes. He arrived for a visit the day before the murders, didn't he? Yes, he did. And the police were horrid about him. They kept asking people if he was quite right in the head. Uncle Morse is as sane as I am. Where was he the morning of the murders? Visiting around. Lizzie was the only one who didn't have an alibi, so they arrested her. But she was acquitted. I know. Beats me how they ever acquitted her, though. It's simple. Hmm? You said yourself there were stains all over. Whoever did it would have been stained, too. But the whole world saw Lizzie within ten minutes of the crime, and she hadn't a spot on her. Maybe she used an apron, one of those big coverall aprons. They never found one. They never found the axe, either, did they? No. I often wondered where the axe got to. Well, it would be easy enough to hide one of them in your own house. But they searched the house. Yeah? Did they take up the carpet? Yes, they did. What about the chimney? Did they open the flue? Of course not. We couldn't have them tearing up the house. I'd tear it up. That her child. The classic. Lizzie Borden took an axe. You've been told never to play here. And gave her mother 40 whacks. Emma, you know we don't see anyone. But Lizzie, this is different. This is a friend of Uncle Morris. Go upstairs, Emma. All right, Lizzie. Now, Miss. Uh, Miss Borden, I represent the Sacramento Record. You're a friend of Uncle Morris, eh? What color hair has the old man got? Gray. Uh, what there is of it, I there's plenty of it, and it's completely white. You never saw Uncle Morse in your life. Good day. Miss Borden, my paper wants an interview. I don't give interviews. Well, then just answer this one question, Miss Lizzie. What became of the apron? I have nothing to say. And the axe? Why wasn't the fireplace searched, Miss Lizzie? Good day. Good day.